So I've gotten many questions on the differences on the HGD1 and the Atomic DRZ. I have the Atomic DRZ right here, but this is with the Super Skeeter conversion. Let me see if it'll focus. Yeah, see the Super Skeeter. And the DRZ originally comes with this slide rack system, which I'm actually building a uh, model kit conversion over there. But it comes with a slide rack steering right here. The cons of this and this one are that you have a very high scrub radius. The wheel is not turning like, like this. It's doing this. And on here, with the type of knuckle it has, it has a lot more, well, a lot less scrub, unless you change the offset and stick it all the way out. With this one, you can adjust the camber from the top and the bottom, but it's only from these screws. You can only unscrew it, go in and out. As you can see, I've pushed it almost all the way out on the bottom and have it cambered all the way out in on the top. Versus over here, well actually on this one, you could screw it in or unscrew it to adjust the camber on top by the lower arm. And same thing with the well, upper and the lower, same system. With these, you can't adjust caster. But with the Super Skeeter conversion, you can. I'm gonna grab a 1.5. And if you unscrew this one right here, You can actually adjust caster. And if you look down here, it has a system like a YD2, but also like I would say like the SX2 because where the servo is placed. And if you unscrew this screw, and I currently don't have them in right now, but this screw, you can adjust the rack forward or back to adjust Ackerman. You cannot adjust Ackerman on the DRZ besides changing the whole steering. And even then, they're almost screwed all the way in. On this one, it actually has a different system than what's on it right now. It originally runs with a ball end that has another ball end on top. And let me find it right now and I'll show you. So the HGD one will run three of these. One on here, one on there. And the third one on the middle of the servo horn. So when you think about it, one will be right here and the other one will be above it. So the steering is almost never even from one side to the other because of that. So I made my own little servo horn where I was able to adjust it with two separate ball ends. And these are actually different ball ends as well. They're being held in by a nut on the bottom. And besides that, with the DRZ, you can only run brushless motors.
This is the one that comes with the HGD one. Oh. Um, I tried to change these pins and actually wiring it and after I did that it stopped working. I may have heated this up too much and unsoldered something inside but since then I had got this one. This one is even more coggy than this one or the one that the DRZ comes with itself which is inside here currently but with this one you can only run brush brushless or brushless censored and with the HGD one you can run brushless brushless censored or and I would prefer the this one with the HGD one just because it's a little cheaper option you could run mini Z motors, and this is a hopped up PN Racing uh, mini Z motor that I got from my friend Tony. And this is a small, I believe, 16 amp uh, brushed ESC that I got from Sheldon's Hobbies. And I took it out of its case, and it's small enough, I had it in there before, so I know, to have the motor on here and the ESC on this side and it actually ran very good like that but now I just keep this up on my shelf to hold my DRZ body well mini Z body this is the one that I prefer but you have to spend a lot to get here and even with getting the super skeeter conversion I still would you still have to get the ESC and the motor um, I would recommend a gyro upgrade and a servo upgrade I have an e-flight servo that works better than the one it came with but the gyro is the one that came with the DRZ and it's okay but it shakes a lot I don't remember if this one comes with a gyro because I bought it second hand from my friend but it did come with the motor this one right here and an ESC um, I believe it was a hobby wing ESC but I'm not exactly sure because I got it second hand um, I hope this helps out a lot of people uh, there's been quite a few questions about it and if you have any other questions feel free to comment I'll do my best to reply.